application of MALI2 for studying uh, AMD, which stands for age-related uh, uh, macular degeneration, is in my view really a very exciting one. AMD is one of the leading causes of blindness in humans. The company Retrotrope um, has a new concept. They want to replace fatty acids in the retina by unsaturated fatty acids which have been deuterated at the carbon-carbon double bond position. And uh, this means uh, when we prevent the oxidative stress, we conserve the structure of the retina and prevent, uh, for instance, uh, the neovascularization and uh, the, the, the problem with, uh, which causes AMD. Our role here is uh, to look into the retina to see the individual very, very thin layers and to determine precisely is the medicament there, has it reached the layers and where is it distributed. And um, when we do the multi-imaging, we can follow this in an almost quantitatively way. And this is, of course, a very, very interesting information for the company. Uh, for the IMD research, we are mainly using the Timstor Flex. Uh, the reasons are that the instrument has the ability to acquire data in a very high acquisition speed, so up to 20 pixels per second. It's very stable uh, concerning the mass accuracy, which gives very reliable results. We can do tandem MS. Another great thing about the Timstor Flex is that it combines the normal mass spec analysis with and mobility analysis. Starting with a complex sample in normal MALDI, it's already helpful, but when you add the extra complexity by just generating tons of new ions, um, the mass spectra get really, really complex. So it's really helpful that you have a second uh, separation in the ion mobility cell, in that TIM cell that's, that's in the instrument, where you can uh, just pull that apart. So you have the drift dimension, and then you have the mass dimension. Instead of having two-dimensional data in a mass spectrum, you now have three-dimensional data in sort of a space, mass and drift time, and that way you can just differentiate a lot of different molecules a lot better than you can with just the mass spec.